So it's a fine line, isn't it, between clever and stupid? Yeah. The new record, right, which uh, is, is going to be recorded in, in the in the new year, <laughs> right? <laughs> No, not really. No, I've stood my ground many a times, Ed. Yeah, blooming many a times, Ed. No, it's not going to happen here. Yeah. Right, he's had his right. chance. Yeah, not a chance. <laughs> Listen, though, just give us two seconds, right? Carl. I knew a simple soldier boy who grinned through life in empty joy. He slept soundly through the lonesome dark and whistled early with the lark. And in winter trenches, cowed and glum, with cramps and lice and lack of rum, he put a bullet through his brain and no one spoke of him again. You smug-faced crowds with kindling eye who cheer as soldier boys march by. Sneak home and pray, you'll never know the hell where youth oh, and laughter, laughter go. go. You know what they do to the fat turkey at Christmas, don't you? It goes gobble, 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 and then out comes the bleed. <laughs> and when that happens, it's turkey no more. And the fat man of the house only gets fatter. Isn't that right, big man? I tried to make you see, but you don't want to know. Oh, what became of the likely lad? What became of the... Yeah. 
now. Academicals thought musicals weren't quite, quite the proper thing. thing. But it's commonly known people don't, don't like a song that everyone can sing. But Rudyard Kipling made them think when he come out with a quotation. He said, musicals are a necessary part of our civilization. But Harry was a champion in their eyes with his old green tie on. When he sung about what they buy, the old island. He was singing them all at like a music hall and down at the old Britannia. Singing, stick a little treacle on me, put in Mary Ann. And you can't help laughing. I'm running on. It's on the list. It's on the list. I stand up straight and tall and shout about it Oh, I'm on another world Yeah, our, our house is a very open house, which is a good thing and a bad thing. And yeah, we had some very good times in that house. But, you know, everything started to go a little bit awry when the water stopped working and things got broken. I actually remember, the, the house was um, a veritable Alad Aladdin's cave of all sorts of crap. <laughs> Food in my fridge. It's empty. It's not your fridge, it's mine. Why don't I get this fridge? Seen fridges like that. You should see another one. Yeah. Probably childish petty squabbles about who was the tallest or who was fancied the most by the playing bus conductor and, and heard him play guitar. I knew I wanted to be in a band of him, that's for sure, but then we disappeared into our own world, really, for four or five years. I suppose there were sparks there from the off. I met Peter in 98, maybe. I was good friends with his sister. It was like, it was like a kid brother, and he turned up to visit her in the big city. No, I think I took Peter to an acting audition and uh, I think it was that night, I think it was the first night. 
And um, yeah, I was a bit pissed off actually because um, the, 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 he, wasn't even, he wasn't even part of the course and, and they liked him best. So yeah, I think there's a lot of competition there, I think you'll find. Right. Oh, looking good. Just find out the bed. Do you think he's better looking than me? Do you? It's a different kind of look. What do you mean? Well, there's the charismatic look and then there's the pop idol look in there, and there's definitely the pop idol look. <laughs> no, it's a good thing! No, no, it's a good thing. I mean, like, not pop idol in kind of like the BBC 21st century version. I mean, like, the 60s Bobby Darren type look. Oh. Bobby Darren? He was cross-eyed, wasn't he? What? Hey? No? Hmm. What was that question? No, nothing. <laughs> you know, me and Carl spar off each other and shoot at each other. I think, I think, I think sparking off each other comes from, you know, obviously, a connection and a devotion to what we're doing. I believe we must, I suppose, both possess components, the other one doesn't. The, the relationship we have with Carl is, like, it's overanalyzed. Well, we've always bickered a fair bit. I think it's in both of our nature, really. Um, that was a very intense friendship. has been... Uh, okay, what a kind of competitiveness. Oh, we've had some good times, too. I mean, maybe I'm quite possessive about friends. Why don't you say Z? Hmm. <laughs> Let's make it go a bit more like this. I get along. It's most about Pete. Oh, I don't know. If, if I'm honest, I miss having a having a best friend who, for all his foibles, who who got me. Who we could we, we could share the same dreams and the same sense of humour, the same, ir the same irony, the same very good John. There's just this, you know when you, when you meet someone who gets you and you get them, on the, on, on, on the deepest level, I mean that, and that's, that, that's something that I, I always missed about Pete. Pete, what do you miss about Carl? I'll say something funny, come on. <laughs> I just miss Mr. Carl, to be honest. Actually, hang on, hang on, what am I then? I call it Carla. What's your name? 
Yeah. <laughs> uh, you don't want to call it Peter. No, I do. You want to call it Peter. So yeah, I'll call it Peter. James Burrell. The other names doesn't mean Peter. James Burrell, I know. I was thinking of Jim, I was thinking you could put up on your hero. Yeah. Jim Bob. Yeah. Yeah. So it Lou. Lou Burrell. Well, when did you decide it was? How long after it was called? I didn't want to call it still. Hit him. I want to call it Peter. <laughs> yeah, but I thought... he said one. If you put a ring on my finger, you can put a peel on. Yeah. There goes Peter. Yeah. <laughs> Carberas here as well. He hasn't won an award. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. You could have won an award on another night. There'll be other times. <laughs> First time we played one of your favourite songs that you've written recently. I don't know. And we bumped it up. History told me. And I looked up one play song on my fucking concentration on my complicated riff room. And everyone was just like, what's this? Is this a new one? No, they covered in like blur songs that weren't released because they were crap. <laughs> Not for it. Yeah, it's good feeling that the rain in your face, you know? It's like a raw element. You never normally get that on stage, yeah. you know? Even when people hit it for the first time, they still sort of were getting into it. Yeah, that was yeah. good. Like, that's very passionate things like that. Yeah, if we're going to be completely honest, it is a fucking great show, man. We're an amazing band, can't deny it. But we did balls up the new one. <laughs> okay, but apart from that, the old ones didn't balls up. No, the old ones. Didn't. Apparently a thing of the past, there's still plenty of chemistry. The way we've always communicated with each other successfully is through music. I know that sounds really naff, but it's true. And uh, that's how and why we're together. And sorry, oh, uh, how does it feel? I don't know yet, because we haven't actually been in a room alone together. So, um, you know, even just then, me and Carl had to sneak off for a crafty one while John wasn't looking. You know? so, a crafty cigarette, yes. For the 
Oh, oh jeez. Oh. Yeah. 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 What? Boys or girls? That's a secret police. Boys? That's a surprise. I hope. Might have done. Oh, there you go. That's a secret police. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Yes, sir.